welcome. How's everybody doing today? Great day in the neighborhood and a great room. Uh, our year for the room. <laughs> Anyways, wonderful summer is here in New York and we're going to go over January 1st through today, which is May 20th. Year to date results and the stocks will show live trading room 221,940 and it's not even halfway through the year. Very excited and looking forward to a nice long weekend coming up Memorial Day next Monday, a week from today. Boy, the year has flown. So if you're interested in more information and want to learn what I do and want to join my group, the Stock Swish Trader Group, you can email me at melissa at thestockswish.com or you can call me at 929 gap follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or Skype. So right now it is still earning season. It is a great time to trade, okay? And so in the in-between periods, and there's four quarterly earnings season, there's still lots of gaps to look at. There's just more gaps in earnings season, okay? So obviously that's a very favorite time and stocks tend to have really big moves. So going here back, starting off in the year, off the first couple of days of the year, then again, many of these trades are shorts, but some were longs. We've done the market a lot this year, quite frankly, and the market's been very volatile. You can see um, many of the options trades and the day trades we've been doing the market, but I prefer to usually watch one stock or one ticker symbol pull per day, although we will do some different ones in here. So this was the beginning of January and getting into the end of the month. And then into last day of January, which was X and QQQ's V was a loser. February started off a little slow. There will be days where if there's nothing meets my criteria, we won't trade. Then got it up and going here. Twitter was a good one into February. Then earnings season started. There was a lot of things to be watching. CVS was a good one. DPZ, KHC. CAT did not work, but that ended up dropping. It just didn't have the follow through I wanted. WTW was a good one, HPQ was a good one, SPY, big one on the first, QQQs, TV Day Off, um, and Target was a wild one, that was back in March. In fact, those earnings are coming up shortly. KR, Cost was a good one, no trades on the 11th, Stitch Fix was a total bust, um, that's been just tanking, quite frankly. Uh, 313 Off, DG was a good one, no trades on the 5th, or the 15th, I'm sorry. And then getting into March, very busy season when there was lots of things to do. And then April started up earning season. Again, this is second quarter, okay? So there's four quarterly earning seasons and in between you have gaps, but you have a lot of picks during those quarterly periods where there'll be just a lot of ticker symbols to be watching, a lot to trade. Disney so far really has been though the gap of the year and that Disney has been along every time I've called it. Um, Disney stock has just rock and rolled just for the option and even the day trades too. Um, getting into April here, nice month. Apple's had some big trades. May started off, um, which is very interesting. May, May started off, gapped up and made new highs in the SPY first day of the month. Apple was, that was the day that Apple reported. Big day trade in Apple that was along. Again, most of these are morning trades. We usually are in and out in the first half hour of the day. But the market has been very volatile ever since that first day in May. And then May has just been a fantastic month. I mean, people are just thrilled in the room, which I'm very glad for. Um, and Baidu so far has been really the gap of the month. Um, every trade in Baidu I've called has worked and everyone I've called has worked huge. Um, not just for the day trades, but the options. It's just been a fantastic May. So very, very happy. Now, a lot of people have been saying, what's an advanced trader risk for the day trades? Around 2,000. Some were a little bit less, some were slightly more, but most of the risk for the advanced trader risk for the day trades has been 2,000. If you've been thinking about trading for a living, you've got to learn what to do. You have to have a set risk per day. You have to have a goal. You have to have a time of the day you're watching to do the trades. You have to have a strategy. You have to understand that strategy and then obviously you have to take the trades and it's important to have a mentor and I'm helping mentor people if they need the help as well. So if you'd like to take the next class, it's in June, June 8th and 9th. Class is called the Golden Gap Course where you will learn my method. You must take my class in order to join the live trading room to get all the calls that I just reviewed. So the next class, like I said, is in June, June 8th and 9th, 9 to 5. Class is $59.99 a year. I mean, uh, uh, the class, uh, $59.99 US dollars for the class. 
it's not a year. I don't know why I just said that. <laughs> I'm just like so happy things are going so well. I'm just laughing to myself here. Um, and not only that, though, the weather has broken New York. My gosh, it seemed like winter would go on forever here. So I'm, it's supposed to be 87 degrees today, actually, now that I'm bringing it up. 87 degrees. Uh, anyways, the next class is June 8th and 9th. It's one weekend, 9 to 5 Eastern time. Cost of the class is $59.99. And uh, the class is online. You can be anywhere in the world and take it. If you'd like more information, feel free to reach out and email me. The combo is the Golden Gap and then the Trends class, which is June 10th and Monday, $64.99 for uh, you pay for both up front and you get half off the trends class is a good class as well and if you want to just sign up for the options newsletter that's not these trades it's a separate letter it's $49.99 a year you get all the trades for one year from the options trades again those are different trades than I call in the live trading room because they're not the same but you don't have any prerequisites for this letter the prerequisite to join the live trading room is the Golden Gap course but I suggest you do the class no matter what you do the options are the day trades because you have to understand the system and it's going to help you make more money and understand it better you're going to be able to see the gap rate the gap look for the targets look for the entries I give the calls in the letter but it helps you understand and get the conviction when you're trading and you know what you're doing so have a great day everyone have a fantastic week great start to a holiday week